Well, good evening. Welcome to the installation and valediction ceremony for the mayor of the city of Bakersfield and council member elect Patty Gray. Council member Patty Gray was unable to be at the council installation in December, so we are so glad to have her join this one tonight. On March 4th, Governor Gavin Newsom declared a state of emergency in California due to the threat of COVID-19. The governor also passed several executive orders, including the suspension of some components of the Brown Act related to public meetings like this one. Now, at this time, we are so privileged to have my brother, Patty Gray's pastor, lead us in the invocation. And then following the invocation, please remain standing for the presentation of the colors by the Bakersfield Fire Department and the Bakersfield Police Department. Then Senator Sa Shannon Grove will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. The senator is the first woman veteran elected to serve in our California legislator and is a good friend of ours. And after the pledge, yeah, I'll give it up for her. And after the pledge, Lauren Kaff, who's an eighth grade student at Warren Junior High, will sing the national anthem. Lauren is a student of Amy Adams. So at this time, would you all please stand? <laughs> Would you please join me in prayer? Heavenly Father, we take heed to the ancient words for kings and rulers in Proverbs 29. When the righteous thrive, all the people rejoice. When the wicked rule, the people groan. By justice, a king gives a country stability, but those who are greedy for bribes tear it down. Mockers stir up a city, but the wise turn away anger. If a ruler listens to lies, all his officials become wicked. If a king judges the poor with fairness, his throne will be established forever. Heavenly Father, we pray this night for re-elected Mayor Karen Goh and for newly elected council member Patty Gray and for all those previously elected or recently elected city officials that you would daily help them to be righteous leaders for this community, able to make our community thrive for all, giving us stability, caring for the poor and at risk, able to turn anger into cooperative resolve, discerning truth from falsehood. You have all power, Creator God, yet you exercise this power only to empower others. Your ambition is our peace and well-being and your justice is fair and merciful. For each of us here tonight, in this gathering of people of influence, I ask that you would help us use the authority entrusted by you and by the citizens of this city to do the same as you. I pray this in the name of Jesus, amen. It is um, my honor this evening to lead you in the Pledge of Allegiance. If you are military or prior military, please render a hand salute. Otherwise, place your hand over your heart and 
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Lauren? be seated. Thank you so much, Lauren. What a joy it is. Four years ago when Lauren was 10, she got to sing this for us. And Lauren, happy birthday. I know you just turned uh, 14 yesterday, student at Warren Junior High, Center to Grove. Thank you so much. We really, really appreciate your service and your dedication to our country, David. Thank you so much. And what an honor it is to have all of you here today. Thank you so much for joining us. At this point, I just want to introduce uh, a few of our special guests. And you met Senator Shannon Grove earlier, thank you so much, my good friend and our great minority leader. Appreciate you so much. You want to stand and wave and we can clap? <laughs> District Attorney Cynthia Zimmer, good friend, thank you so much. And then former Councilwoman Jackie Sullivan. My brother, sister-in-law, and niece, David, Janelle, and Annalise. <laughs> Council member elect's husband, Everett Gray. <laughs> and somebody who's really special. This, um, I wouldn't be here, and council member elect wouldn't be here tonight without Kathy Abernathy, <laughs> our campaign manager. Stand up and her daughter, Madeline. And Kathy and her husband, Mark, were responsible for getting me into this position with the help of so many of you, and I know encouraging Councilmember Gray to run. So Kathy, thank you so much. Really appreciate you. <laughs> and to the rest of you, a big welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Madam Clerk, what's the next item? Public statements. Public statements were encouraged to be made by the phone calls or emails to the city clerk, and any comments that were received by that manner were already provided to the council before the meeting. Next item, please, Madam Clerk. Oath of office.
my niece, Annalise Payne, is holding my mother's Bible, and I'll be taking the oath on that Bible. Let's raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California, that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which you are about to enter. I do. And now, council member elect Gray will not be council member elect in just a minute. Please come up here with her husband, Everett. We're going to change her title in just a minute. Do you solemnly swear or affirm? that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that you will bear true faith uh, and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California, that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which you are about to enter. I do. Thank you. Yay. Council Member Grace, stay up there so you can get your plaque. She has something to present to you. One more up there. Look straight ahead at April. And now, would you come and join us, please? And we change your title. It's no longer council member elect. Council member Patty Gray. Congratulations. We're so glad to have you up here. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Looks different, doesn't it? So at this time, we have a special treat. Lauren gets to come back, and she's going to sing for us. While she's singing, you're going to see some slides, some photos from the last few years, last four years. Some of you will be in there. Lauren, come on up, and we'll get you all set. And whenever you're ready, we will make this happen. But Lauren, it's been wonderful to see Lauren just mature. I spotted her on the stage of the fairgrounds, and got her connected with Amy Adams, and she's come through Garden Pathways and been singing with the Boys and Girls Club. Lauren, thank you so much, and she's going to be singing A Million Dreams from the Greatest Showman.
Thank you so much, Lauren. That was beautiful. And Tom Webster back there, thank you so much for the slideshow. Uh, thank you very much, uh, team. Really appreciate it. And to all of you out there, hopefully you saw yourself in there, but that all happened in the last four years. Every night I lie in bed, the brightest colors fill my head. A million dreams are keeping me awake. I think of what the world could be, a vision of the one I see. A million dreams is all it's going to take. A million dreams for the world we're going to make. You know, I am so grateful for the million dreams that have already been declared for each of us before we were born, and the million dreams declared already for our beautiful city. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Isn't it amazing that those million dreams have already been declared over the city of Bakersfield? And as you walked in, you saw the dream of Colonel Thomas Baker in 1862 emblazoned in the lobby. This is God's country. Someday it will be filled with happy homes. This place is rich with future possibilities. Thank you so much for being here in support of Council Member Patty Gray and me. You're here because you were a key part in getting us elected. Thank you so much for your support, for your prayers, for your donation. You know, I'm so thankful that just an ordinary person can have an extraordinary life because of an extraordinary God and because of extraordinary people like you who've mentored me, who've given me opportunity, who've prayed for me, who've supported me. And I'm so thankful for the support of my family. Thank you, David, Janelle, Annalise, and my nephews, Hunter and Jordan, who can't be here, and Annalise's new husband, Graham, and my father, who's watching from home. I'm so thankful that my parents gave me a foundation of faith that taught me the value of education, family, the call on our lives to serve others. And thank you for your confidence, your vision, your vote. On the road to becoming mayor, you were there for me. And I'm just so thankful that you've entrusted me with another four years. I am so inspired by our community being such hard workers. We have these hardworking citizens who really have a hope, who have a future, and who have a vision for this beautiful city that we call home. And together we have this boundless, boundless potential. You know, in spite of the challenges that we're facing, it's a wonderful time to be in the city. Would you agree? It's a great city. It's a great time to continue to write the narrative to continue to build our city together. And I've just been so blessed to work together with all of you in these last four years. Council members, thank you so much. Council Member Arias, welcome aboard. But Council Member Gonzalez, Vice Mayor, thank you so much for being a part of this fantastic community. And to our city manager and to our city attorney, thank you also. You know, as I look forward to the future, I want to continue to be that steady voice declaring Bakersfield is a great place to do business and to make sure that we as a community live up to that reputation. I'm excited about enhancing our economy, advancing common agenda for regional prosperity with quality job creation accessible to all people. And I look forward to bringing more jobs to Bakersfield. And I keep saying there's going to be an announcement. There is going to be an announcement. I'm going to continue addressing homelessness and be a champion for systemic change in mental health. Excuse me, sorry. <coughs> so
that's what happens when you have a little allergy. I'm going to continue being our advocate for mental health and those who are suffering from addiction who are homeless. And, you know, it's been so wonderful that we already have our navigation center built, but we need more. And so I am joining together with our state legislators, our local people, our county. We are all going to do it together. Dr. Rao out there, I know I've consulted you, and thank you so much. And let's see, Dr. Brar, if you're here, I've consulted with you and many of the others. We're all going to do it together so that all people can have improved quality of life. Let's continue to work together for our safe streets, our clean neighborhoods, a revitalized downtown. And my door is going to continue to be open. I hope you continue to torture me and give me your suggestions. Keep pounding on me, and let's work together until we get this community that we really want, the community that God has ordained for us. And I'm always going to remember that I am your public servant. I'm grateful that I don't have to walk this journey alone, and I'm going to surround myself with all of you experts. I'm going to continue to listen to you and call on many of you. So continue to join me in creating a city that's teeming with commerce, lively arts, safe and clean neighborhoods supported by efficient and responsive government for all people. I'm honored by your trust and I promise to give all of my strength, body, mind, and spirit to the job that you've entrusted me. I humbly ask for your help, your prayers, as we move forward in the next four years. May God bless you, your family, and our beautiful city, Bakersfield. And now, Council Member Patty Gray. Welcome. Well, Karen, that was beautifully said. Um, you know, this is my first time to ever even run for public office, so uh, I'm a little new at this, but um, I'll just kind of give what I have out of my heart tonight. First, I want to congratulate our new council member, Eric Arias. I'm glad to be able to do this together. And our reelected council, council members, Freeman and Gonzalez. So, yeah, four of us. That's exciting. Um, I am looking forward to working with all the council members. Uh, I know this is a, a group of people that work well together. They're in unity. Um, I'm, I'm sure there's some disagreements at times. But you wouldn't see it. You wouldn't know it in the city. We're not, we're not fighting. And so that's a good group of people to join. And I'm, I'm excited to be with this, this group. It's an honor to sit in this seat. And I'll be, I'm a pretty transparent person. And I don't know, I may have to learn through this whole experience not to quite be so. I don't know. But I'm just going to speak from my heart. This is the most surreal experience I think I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> Uh, to even think that I would be sitting here representing this great city would just, it wouldn't have been something I, I would have dreamed of, to be honest with, but I'm very, very honored to be here. But it, if it wasn't for so many people that have shaped my life and influenced me over the years, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. And we, we have to realize that, yes, God has a purpose for us, and he has a plan for our life. And he puts the right people in our lives and guides us through so that we can do the things that we're called to do. And I'm very grateful from a, a wonderful family to teachers over the years. I can, I can bring a couple to mind that really made an impact to business associates, mentors, and friends it took all of those people in my life to be able to do what I'm doing now. I'd like to specifically, though, mention a few of those, if I could. First, to the voters of Ward 6 in Southwest Bakersfield, I would like to thank you for putting your confidence in me to represent you. Um, you know, the, I haven't met all of them. 
Uh, I did, I did do a lot of uh, door knocking and, and met a lot of wonderful people, but there's people that have never even met me that put their confidence in me. That's truly an honor. Um, to WPR, Kathy Abernathy. You know, Karen, you can just shoot stuff out, and I'm, I'm just, I'm so emotional, I, forgive me. But you are an amazing woman. Amazing. I promise at the other city council member meetings I won't cry. <laughs> just get, just let me let me do it this time. Um, anyway, the, uh, just an amazing group of people, a team of people that I was just so fortunate to be able to work together with and call friends. And I call you friend. Thank you. Um, for my donors, that um, you know, they they put their hard-earned resources into these campaigns and people that they believe in, and I, I'm very appreciative to them. To my volunteers, I have one here in the audience tonight who actually got bit by a dog uh -huh. and continued continued to walk door to door for me. Matt Serber, thank you. I appreciate what you did. <laughs> I couldn't believe that when I heard they'd he gotten bit by a dog. Um, so, you know, it takes all those people to make this work. I also um, want to recognize the most important person in my life, my husband, <laughs> Everett. Yeah. He has stood with me for 46 years. Um, he has uh, accepted a lot of crazy stuff that I've put him through. And, um, you know, we've, we raised three sons together. We operated, owned and operated a business all these years together. And a lot of couples said, oh, I could never do that. Um, but we, we've, we've been successful at it, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I can't imagine going, to, going off to work a, for the day or him, and we be separated all day long until 5 or 6 o'clock. I just can't even imagine that. But without his support, I could not serve as council member effectively. And this is a decision that the two of us had to make. We had to pray through it. Um, I, can't say, I can say he had a little reservation about it, but he, but he gave me the, the uh, green light, and I'm so appreciative that he allows me to be the best that I can be in whatever that I choose to do. And so, honey, I love you, and I thank you. <laughs> um, I would have liked to have had my father here, Victor Killingsworth, um, he turned 100 years old on November 11th, um, lives next door to us, and un but unfortunately with COVID and all, and uh, we decided it was too risky to take him out. But Dad, I know you're watching, and um, <laughs> he is my second biggest fan, and I just want to tell you, how grateful I am to have wonderful parents that put his children first and foremost in his life. My mother guided me with her faith and her morality, and I just am so grateful for that. Um, and then Dad taught me something very important, and I think it will, I think it will really uh, help me in the position that I, am, that I am in now. And he taught me this when I was in high school. He said, Patty, it's better to be respected than popular. And he modeled the importance of public service to me as he served his community and his country honorably. So, Dad, thank you. And to my children and extended family, I thank them for their encouragement and enthusiasm when I decided to run for office. Um, my middle son, who was living in Grover City, he said, Mom, when you come over, make sure you bring a yard sign. And I'm like, well, why do you, why do you want a yard sign? Because I'm going to put it in my yard, Mom. 
So he's in Grover City putting Patty Gray for city council in Bakersfield <laughs> in the yard. And we got, a, we got some pictures with that. So that was fun with my grandchildren. Um, but all of my children live out of town or out of the state, uh, so they could not be here tonight, unfortunately. Another group of people I want to thank is our DreamMaker team. Without them doing what they do best and taking up the slack in the, in the company while I was out on the campaign trail for six months, um, I wouldn't have been able to do this if our team had not done what they do best. So I just want to tell them tonight, and I, hopefully they're all watching, I sent them the link, that uh, you all are amazing, amazing team at DreamMaker Bath and Kitchen, and I will forever be grateful for what you did. I'm also grateful for our friends. There's friends that are here tonight that have stood behind me, cheered me on when I'm like, I don't know if I can do that. Yeah, you can, Patty, you can do it. Go for it, you can do it. And this morning as I was reading in my Bible about encouragement, uh, therefore we are to encourage each other and build each other up. That's what friends and family do, and that's how we get to that point where we have courage to do the things that God has called us to do. And we all need encouragement, and I definitely am grateful to all of you that encourage me every time I'm with you. And I couldn't miss this opportunity to thank Jackie Sullivan. When you said you were coming tonight, I was so glad because I wanted to be able to say this to you in person. You serve 25 years. Wow. And you served with honorably and with grace. And I know you to be, and I heard these other men up here when I wasn't here the first time, um, I heard them say what an encourager you are, what a kind heart you have, how you are willing to listen to other people's perspectives. And I was watching from home, and I was thinking, wow, those are some big shoes. I appreciate you modeling the way. So, it may not look like I'm excited to get started. <laughs> I got past the hard part, but I am so excited to get started. I am very committed to protecting and supporting the conservative values that have made this city the great city that it is from its founder in 1862. I mean, Bakersfield has such a beautiful heritage and we have so much to offer, like uh, Karen was saying, in the arts. Uh, we have that religious freedom in this city that we can worship freely. Um, our churches and our temples, they stand as beacons of God's grace and goodness in this town. And Bakersfield is unique. This is not like this all over the state of California. We are a unique place to live. And I'm... I'm just so um, thankful to be able to be serving in a community uh, where our families can um, have every opportunity possible, that we have good jobs here. We're going to, Karen and I were talking about it, some things that are on my heart that we're going to start looking at and working on to bring more good jobs into Bakersfield and that's going to affect younger people. Um, but we're just so fortunate that we live in a city that allows us the things that we have here because that's not all the same everywhere. I'm also committed to ensuring that our citizens receive the services that are necessary while respecting every tax dollar. All of us work hard, and when we write those, those, <laughs> those checks to the state and to the federal government, we want to make sure that money is being spent well and not squandered. And so it is my responsibility now as part of this council that we all steward what you 
are sowing into our community that we steward it well. And so I am committed to doing that. I do realize that there's a huge learning curve. I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I've had so much being um, introduced to me, um, but I know I can do it. I know that uh, there's gonna be difficult times, but I'm looking forward to meet, meeting or working with our honorable mayor, with each one of you as city council members, and our city staff, because together we can find the right solutions that are gonna work well for this city. And so I'm excited for that. We're a growing community. I'm just amazed at when, even in my area, Southwest area out there, how much growth there is. And uh, driving back and forth to Bakersfield, I was raised in Taft. Um, I, I've seen the growth just keep moving, moving, moving closer to Taft all these years, and it's just, it's wonderful to see. So again, in closing, I appreciate the opportunity that you all have given me. Um, I will do my very best to serve Bakersfield as a council member that you will be proud of. Thank you. Thank you so much, Councilmember Patty Gray. And now, Lauren Kapp comes to close us out with God Bless America, followed by the benediction. Oh. Oh. Senator Grove wants us to stand, and we will. God bless America. Land that I love, stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans, wide with foam. God bless America. My home, sweet home. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies, to the oceans wide with foam. God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home sweet home. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you for the honor of uh, allowing me to offer the invocation and benediction. And uh, as I was reflecting on the scriptures that I had picked, I uh, was sort of pondering, um, maybe I should have picked something a little more cheerful. Um, <laughs> but because uh, the, the, the benediction is, is serious. But I, I believe that this is a serious hour for our community and for our nation. God is raising up serious leaders to help us find our way forward. And as a community together of many different faiths and creeds, but if we all pray in a serious way, I believe good days are ahead. So receive this benediction. The words of the prophet Micah. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before God on high? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams or 10,000 rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgressions, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? He has shown you, humanity, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? but to do justice and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. 
The voice of the Lord cries to the city, and it is sound wisdom to fear your name. Go in peace and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And we stand adjourned at 6.07. Thank you again so much for coming here. You are our friends. We appreciate you. As you go out, there's a little snack, uh, but it's to go because we need to go. But again, thank you all so much. And colleagues, thank you all for joining.